to the model. Okay. Um, honestly, I don't know how long it will take to finish this since there will be a lot of explanation and stuff. Right? There will be a lot of explanation. So uh, I don't know how long it will take for us to finish this. Uh, but um, yesterday night I tried uh, doing it. It took me give and take like 15 minutes. One five. Yeah. Five yeah, no no no. One five minutes. Wow. Yeah, fifteen minutes to finish this. But fortunately, since I I did not save it and uh, the machine too was running updates and stuff, when I came back it, it restarted itself. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. But well, it's all good. It is all good. And that is the positive uh, positive aspect of not using templates. Imagine if it was a template, I would have been dead. But all the same, it's, it's all good, right? It's all good. So uh, we are pretty much going to recreate everything, yeah, from scratch, and then um, yeah, possibly. Uh, let me try and zoom in and see. It's not kind of sharp yeah so uh well on this model as you can see uh it's pretty much the building is pretty much all cubic right it's pretty much all cubic so we'll be starting with the cubes right uh you might think that it is about um one two three four five six seven eight you, you might think it is plenty cubes that makes this uh, structure this miniature uh, model but um, it's pretty much like one cube the whole building from the red to the down here is one cube another is um, the foundation is another cube though you can do it in another style that will not uh, that will not be uh, seen as another cube but I prefer maintaining like a separation in case of maybe we would like to animate it right in case we would like to animate the whole building yeah so i think this will be one cube another cube the door will be another cube here too will be another cube so that will be uh, one two three four five and six seven and eight in total oh nine plus a signboard right so that is plus the signboard that will have nine cubes. Okay, so now how are we going to go about it? So uh, I don't know if you have your, um, what's the name? Your, uh, yeah, your cinema open. So we are going to jump in straight to the cinema. All right, we are going to jump in straight into the cinema then, uh, as you can see. But I hope you know, you know the basics, right? You know the, the tools, the use of the tools and stuff. I said yesterday that I tried this and then I said it's not good. Oh, okay. Yes, it says. Which, which version, which version are you using? R2. Come again. R2. R20. Oh, okay, okay, all right. R20 is almost is normal. Okay, so here we, we are. I'm doing I'm going to create a cube. Uh, right now it is a 200, 200 centimeters uh, is a portion, 200 centimeters per portion. And uh, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, to make it times two each making it 400, okay? So times two. Uh, times two. Times two. So that's 400 cubic, right? So now, as we have it 400 as it is, I am going to raise it for it to hit the floor. So 100 centimeters, 
uh, from the y axis. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to enter 100. Uh, sorry. Uh, going to the front view. Okay, someone is joining us. Uh, Matilda, that's 150. Okay, so 200. All right, so now 200. I'm going to enter 200 on the Y axis. Okay, the first one was 200 centimeters each. So the 200 centimeters, I just entered 100, but now I've doubled it up. So I was supposed to double the repositioning, which I made a mistake there. So uh, then the size of your cube will determine the level of uh, your ground. Okay, so you have to always remember that one. Okay, so now with the 200 centimeters up for it to hit right on the X, okay, right on the X line for it to sit right on the X line. So now we are going to duplicate the cube. Okay, so I'm holding control while clicking and dragging it, right? clicking and dragging it, then it will copy the cube that we have already. Hello, Matilda, you are welcome. Hello, Matilda, can you hear us? Yeah, I'm part. Okay, good. I'm You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I can't, I can't go back, but uh, I think I will, I will have to, okay. A quick one. Let me go quick one on that. We are doing a quick, um, uh, I say quick, sorry. We are doing a basic shape manipulation. And the basic shape manipulation that we are coming to do is to create a coffee shop. And this is the sample of the coffee shop. Matilda, can you see it? Yes, I can see it. Okay, so we are going to reduplicate this coffee shop as you see right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we are we are doing right now. Okay, Arafat is joining us. Wow, I wish everybody has joined from the beginning. Wow, they say that's cool. I think they will see it from the recorded video. Yeah, Arafat. How are you doing? Arafat, can you hear us? Uh, okay, I think he has muted this thing. All right, so um, I created a cube, Matilda. I created a cube. That's the first cube over there, right? And the size of the cube was 200 centimeters. Original size, whenever you open, is 200 centimeters. But I doubled it up, okay, to 400 centimeters. And after doubling it up to 400, I then push it to the y axis, push it upwards to 200 centimeters for it to be leveled up to the ground floor of cinema, uh, of the cinema body, okay? So as you can see. So now for you to go into the viewing modes, right? All you have to do is to click the middle, uh, the middle mouse button of your mouse, okay? the middle button of your mouse, it will give you the full view. This is the perspective, which is the uh, the shaded, you know, environment, right? This is the perspective view. You have, you have a clear view of what you're doing. And then this is the top view, which gives you uh, a line, an outline, okay, of the model that you are you are working on this is the top view this is how it is and then this is the right view which means the right side of your model and then the front view meaning the front side of your model so now with a cube that we just created i duplicated it right so that we can create the floor okay uh, let me share it again 
so that we can create this floor that you see below the building. I hope you are seeing it. Yes, we've seen it. Good. So um, I think we can speed up right now. Now that I have uh, my two cubes, first is to make sure that my floor is being leveled up. So what I'm going to do is to reduce, right? But look at the object size on the Y axis. You can see that the features are changing. So what I'm going to do is to enter 10 centimeters on the Y axis and then give it a zero ground. Okay, and go to my front view. Now that I'm in my front view, I want to make sure that the building is right above the floor. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to drop, right, is to drop the floor below the, the main building structure, which is uh, negative, which will be like negative five, since the y axis is 10 centimeters. So I will do it negative five centimeters, meaning half of it, as you can see, right? Which will make it sit right above it. I hope you can see it. Right? So now that we have it this way, I'm going to use my scaling tool. Okay. I'm going to use my scaling tool and scale it. So now with the scaling, we have, uh, I'm going to give it 500 on the size X and then 12 centimeters on the size Y and 500 on the size Z. Okay, and now I'm going to drop it a little down. So I will have it like uh, eight centimeters, negative eight centimeters below the main structure. I guess there is some kind of space which I don't want. So uh, that will be negative seven centimeters. Six point five. Good. So six point five. Oh, okay. So 12, that's it. 12 centimeters, so it's normal 6.5. Right? Yeah, that would be 12.333. All right, so 6.5, that's cool. It's right on it. So as you can see, you have the building structure. Okay, you have the building structure. Now, um, I'm going to convert by selecting both of them, I'm going to convert it into a um, sample object to the model, right? Because we need to have some cuts. So I'm going to press C on my keyboard. Now they are editable now. So I go to my face mode, which is the polygon shape. Uh, my face mode on the polygon shape. Then from here, I will call in my knife tool. Right, I will call in my knife tool by pressing KL. K, the button K, uh, sorry. Yeah, when you press the K, you can see the type of knife that there are. We have the plane cut, the line cut, and then the loop and path cut. So now we are going to use the loop and, and path. So KL will give us that, exactly that. So as you can see, the KL will make sure that we have a correct cut around the model. So what I'm going to do is to click anywhere for now, and then make sure that the offset, right? I want to make sure that the offset mode is at 85, exactly at 85. So I want 85 to enter. Now I have it exactly at 85. 
now that I have this cut, I'm not going to um, select the face so that I can extrude, right? So for me to extrude it on the keyboard, you just have to press UL, that is to call the loop selection, right? That's to call the loop selection key. Once you click it, it is going to select only the face that you selected, right? As you can see. So now, with the face selected, I'm going to call in my extrude mode two by right clicking on my mouse. Then I have my extrude here or the shortcut MTG. But well, uh, Cinema 4D has too much of shortcut. So with the shortcut, uh, with the extrude mode, what I'm going to do is to offset it to 15 centimeters. Okay, I'm going to offset it to 15 centimeters. So just extruding it to 15, I can see it has gone offset to like 30 something, which um, I really don't want. Okay, so I'm going to enter my 15 centimeters, right? So the 15 centimeters, this is how you see it from the below, right? This is how you see it from the below. It's just a little step in uh, from the model, which will be really things very fast. So now I'm going to select this space over here. They are all out again. Come again. They are all out. Yeah, I think they are, uh, their network has a problem also so uh well wait a minute it looks like all right so right now i've selected the top of the building so with the top of the building what i'm going to do is to extrude extrude inner okay I'm supposed to do the extrude inner, but instead of doing the extrude inner, when I do that, it will recreate a line which I don't want. What do I mean by that? When I do the extrude inner, you see that it has created a line right here. I don't want it that way. When it comes to that, it will not fit with the rooftop uh, that we saw in the model. So the best thing is to select the scaling. Okay, the scaling too, and then you just scale it. Uh, right, and then you just scale it. Right, so now with the scaling, as you can see, uh, I'm going to scale it at 320. Okay, 320 exactly on the X, 320 on the Z. So that to be proportional. Now that I have it scaled, oh, somebody is crying my network. <laughs> oh boy, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Okay, so now that I have it scaled this way, I am going to extrude it again to create the rooftop. So extrude, inner, this time around. So the inner extrusion that I'm going to do is just going to be, uh, I think 40 is okay. Yeah, 40 is okay. This one, this time around, that's going straight to the point. So now we have it 40 as, uh, let's see our sample again. Um, so as you can see, that's, yeah exactly 40 right so that's exactly 40 so now with this now with this one that is done i think we can move to the next level which is the doors right which is the doors so now uh i am going to select okay i'm going to select the floor um the floor cube and duplicate it again 
so that out of the floor I can create the um, how do you call it the doors, right? So what I'm going to do is to scale the floor back to a reasonable size, which uh, will get to view it uh, very soon. Okay, I'm supposed to use the front door first. So the front door first. Let's go to the front view. Yeah, I think this door size is okay. Yeah. Now, as you can see the front view, right? With the front view, we will have the window somewhere here. And in between the window and the door, there is a particular space that we need. But before then, let me get a proper shape of that cube. So uh, I'm going to the right side, the side view, so that I can get the proper shape of the cube that we'll be using. Okay, so we have 20, 20, 20 centimeters is good. All right, so 20, one ten. Oh, sorry, two ten. Uh, Two ten and one twenty. The reason why I like precise uh, precise measurement is is for us to be able to um, do some attraction. Running out of time. There's a more the cutting in it. Wow. Okay. It looks like. Zoom has increased our time frame. All right. So, um, with a precise measurement, it enables you to do attrition in case of any mistake. Okay. In case of any mistake, you'll be able to do the attrition as easy as that. All right. So, now, now that uh, we have it, I'm going to drop it down. So on the y axis, I'm going to give it like 105. Okay, so now with the 105 is right on the floor and I'm going to push it forward. Somewhere like 200, negative 200. Now we have it right there, as you can see. Right, we have the door right there, exactly at the point on the the sample model. Now we are going to the front view, so that we will be able to have our window set as well. So I'm going to duplicate uh, this same cube. Right. So now that I have this cube duplicated, what I'm going to do is to make sure I maintain the height that I have here. So for me to maintain this height to the door, I just have to rotate this cube. So uh, rotating by holding the blue, which is the Z axis of the rotation wheel, hold down shift and rotate it 90 degree. Okay, rotate it 90 degree, back to my move, uh, my move two, and then make sure I am on the same level, right? Make sure that I'm on the same level with the door, right? Good. So as I'm on the same level with the door, all I have to do is to push it at the side. The reason, now with the pushing at the side, I'm going to scale it. I'm going to shrink uh, from the, Y axis, right? I'm going to shrink it from the Y axis so that I can have the path that I need for the chandelier beside the door and as well as the, the canopy. Okay, so as well as the canopy. So now with this particular one that I have now, it's cool, like so. And uh, 
yeah like so maintaining the same size the same position all right so now that i have my window set there is a, a kind of table like a, a, that shelf that there was at the window so i'm going to duplicate this same cube to create that shelf so putting down the control click and drag right click and drag so that i can duplicate it open up my scaling to you and then scale it to five centimeters on the x-axis and then bring it up right below the window and then go to my front view now that I'm in my front view, I'm going to scale it on the, um, how do you call it? On the Z axis, right? So scaling it on the Z axis, I think 50 centimeters is okay. Now that I have that, I'm going to push it forward, right? I'm going to push it forward right there. So negative 235 centimeters will do. 235. Yeah. So now, as you can see, we have uh, our front view. Right? As you can see, we have our front view for the shop. Now, what I'm going to do is this door, I'm going to duplicate it so that it can be our back door, right? So um, I'm going to duplicate it right from here and rotate on the X, um, sorry, on this Y axis, 90 degree. Then bring it to this and push it here, go to my side view. So that I can have a fair view of it and then yeah positioning it right here now on my front view I have to make sure that I have a proper uh, 200 on the X yeah. so as you can see now we have we have our set right now we are going to create uh, okay before creating the canopy there was a signboard which is the sign the signage right so the same door over here that we are going to or better so yeah we can use the window to do that since we have that shape already so what i'm going to do is to go to my front view and uh, click control click and drag right to position it and then scale it to the size uh, like 70 on the x and then uh, sorry move it make sure i'm at zero centimeters on the x axis and then scale it on the x axis okay so i think 350 will do 350 scaling okay now on the right side on the right view of my comp what i'm going to do is to push it forward but before then uh, I have to scale it on the Z, right? Scaling it on the Z so that I can get it flat as it was. So five centimeters, that will do. Well, for now, we'll just maintain it at five centimeters and then um, position it right, right there. to make sure that we are right on the same level, right? 
So yeah, something like so. Right. So as you can see, the basic what basic shape manipulation. Right. But I think our board is a little small. We just have to let's let's have a look at yeah. I will just have to increase it from the front view. Uh, I think 80 will do on the X. Or probably 90. Okay, I think 90 is cool. All right, now, nice. All right, so this is the basic shape manipulation. All right. So as you can see so far, the whole building is based on cubes. It's only the cubes that we, we use to create the building. Right. And oh, yes, of course, the, the designing and stuff, they are all cubes, which will go, we'll go into that very soon. Now we are going to create a canopy, right? Now with the canopy, the canopy is a, is, is a cylinder shape, right? It's in cylinder shape, as we can see. Uh, sorry. Yeah, so now with the canopy, is a cylinder shape. So uh, yeah, so as you can see the door, right they are all cubes right they are all cubes and then our um, how do you call it the seven the seven um, plates that is the floor that is there yeah so now with the, the canopy is a cylinder so we are now going to the curve uh, places so we'll do the canopy and then probably uh, should we do the table? Well, I think we will have to leave that one for next time. That is if there is time. Okay, so we are going back again to the main. Now, we're going to create the canopy. So to create a canopy, we just have to call in a cylinder. Right? So, um, Either a cylinder or a tube will do, right? A cylinder or a tube will do for that. But I prefer a cylinder because with a cylinder, it is kind of uh, much easier. Okay, it's much easier to manipulate the cylinder than the, the tube. So uh, right now, I'm going to activate the line uh, line shape for us to see our segment. Right, so by clicking NB, okay, by clicking NB, you can see the lines, right, of our shapes, so that we can know the segment that we have. Now, um, before then, we don't need a full cylinder, so I will come to the slides and then activate the slice. So as you can see, the slice has slice the cylinder into half, but we don't need it at half, we need it at quarter. So therefore we use it at 90 degree, right? So as it is at the 90 degree, uh, what we are going to do is to one, rotate it to, to position, okay? We will rotate it to position. So now, uh, Activating our rotation on the uh, what's the name on the x axis, holding down shift to rotate it exactly 90 degrees, and then holding down shift again on the y axis to rotate it at 90 degrees again. Now on the x, we just rotate it at 90 degree again, okay? So that it will face direct to 
the building as you can see so now i'm going to my front view uh, sorry my right view now on the right view making sure that i position it exactly to place right so as you can see like so yeah this is our line just have to fix it in a little Let's see. come again okay all right i think we'll have to pause uh oh should i stop All right, now we are back again to the recording. So this is where we are so far with the cylinder, as you can see. All these ones are cubes, as you can see the names there. Okay, all these ones are cubes. Now the canopy, we use the cylinder to create the canopy, right? So um, using the cylinder to create the canopy, positioning it at um, exactly where we want it to be. So now I'm going, I'll go to my front view. Right? I'll be going to my front view so that uh, we can position it exactly proportional to the, uh, to the window, all right? So exactly proportional to the window. I think the window that I have to move proportional to, to it. I don't want to reduce the size of my canopy. Yep, I don't want to reduce the size of my canopy. And uh, okay, and here is cool. Here is okay. Yeah, then our chandelier will be somewhere here. Uh, okay, uh, I think that's good. Cool. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Chandelier can be somewhere here. All right, so now I'm going to move um, the window, push it a little bit for it to be right in the center of the canopy. All right? Okay, mm, I guess, yeah, yeah, uh, this is good, this is good. So uh, now we have it like so. So for us to be able to uh, to have it more uh, more shape like, since we'll be modeling the canopy. All right. I'm going to reduce the size, the the number of um, segments. Okay, I'm going to reduce the number of segments on the rotation uh, side to like uh, divided by two, so it will be eight. Uh huh. And then increase the number of segments on the. Okay, or oh, better still leave it this way and create those segments ourselves. Right. So. Yeah, I think we'll leave it that way. We'll leave it at four, four by eight. That's two. We we'll just divided two, two, two. All right, so that's two. So now, this is our canopy. We're just going to convert it into an editable, um, make it editable by pressing C on the keyboard. Now it is editable. We can go to the face, uh, the face size, and then select. Right, so I will use my align select or life selection tool. My life selection tool to select this face over here. So as I select it, and remember uh, the selection mode, right? Only visible element. You have to make sure that the only visible element is highlighted. If not, it will select something that is not visible and it might affect your selection. So now that I've selected it, I'm just going to press the delete on my keyboard to delete it. 
and then you can see the part here too has the same features there so i'm going to select that one too yeah and then delete okay so now that i've deleted it if i should move it forward you will see that now this is our canopy right i hope you see it this is our canopy now good so for us to have it uh more um appropriate also have it more appropriate what i'm going to do now is to use my knife to so kl for the loop select my face my face type click and then click right here so that it will be centered on the 50 meaning to divide the two sector into two so if i should come here again and click i want it to be in the 50 come here you click want it to be in the 50 come here want it to be in the 50 so now we have one two three four five six seven eight portion right we have a portion now so now that we have it we we'll do um, a little zoom over here but well that's not necessary for now it's not necessary actually all right so now that we have it we are going to put our cylinder right a cylinder plane into a cloth okay we are going to put it into a cloth so i'm holding down um i'm holding down the alt on my keyboard and then select the clock surface so that it becomes a child of it right so the cylinder becomes a child of the clock now the subdivision i don't want it right i don't want the subdivision right now i'm okay with the number that i have so now the thickness is what we are looking we are looking for the thickness to have exactly the size of the uh, the thickness of the oh, what's the name the canopy so um i'm going to give it one centimeter right so as you can see there is how thick it is right this is how thick it is but as you can see over here you can see that it is a bit slider which is not exactly what we are looking for right so i'm going to hide this and then select and create a little cut over here that will be like uh, a cut of um, somewhere three to five yeah let me call in my yeah so five centimeters so uh divine you remember i made mention of um for us to have precise measurements precise measurements helps you deal with uh, alterations and stuff mm -hmm. precise measurements helps you with alterations so now that we have this cut over here we'll do the same over here as well so give it a cut which is uh 92 we don't want it 92 so give it like 90. All right so let's view it in our front view and see if it is proportional so instead of 90 so it's with 95. yeah so five on the right five on the left okay we are going to work on the doors uh where is showing yeah. right so that's the canopy that's the canopy and then we are going to work on the doors right now which uh that one is a different a different uh kind of modeling but we'll be using the bowling to uh, 
if you've heard of it before. So just use the Boolean key, uh, the Boolean key to create the cards. We'll be using it to create the card and then the extra dots, right? Or better still, we can still model the dots to look like as if they were Boolean or they were cut through, just like the way we did with the roof, right? Just like the way we did with the roof, we can also do the same with the door as well. So, um, well, you know, some people will call it the hard surface modeling. It means it, it, they are all modeling. All right, so uh, we are done with this, with the canopy. So uh, we are going with the door. We will start with this particular door since that one is a straightforward one. Um, the side, right side, you go straight to the width and then go to the face. Then we are going to a shoot inner, right? So, as we are doing the shoot inner, the shoot inner like five centimeters, okay. So now, for the five centimeters, what we're going to do is to uh, uh, you see this portion over here. We don't want it, right? We don't want this portion over here. So what what I'm going to do is to delete it, though uh, not exactly what I was planning, but. Definitely, when you are dealing with modeling, that that's one of the things that happen. So we go back to the perspective view, and then select the point, and then uh, drop it. Hundred and five. Right to be professional. Now going back again to the front, right? Uh, where are you? Where is it? Yeah, this side, the front view. What we are going to do is we are going to select this line, right? I select this, uncheck the only visible, then select it, then delete. Sorry. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. All right. And then come to the front, the perspective view using this front side. And then I should to the inner section of it. Sorry, the control I should the version of it, not the I should. Yeah, five, like so. Now we have now we have our back door, right? And there is another problem again. The floor here, the below uh, stuff, we don't want it. Yeah, we don't want it. If not, it it sometimes reflects later when when you are when you are putting uh what's the name? When you are putting materials on it, you will see that it will be reflected, which we don't we don't want that, right? So now that's our back door. We are done with the back door, as you can see. Very soon we'll be putting some materials on it to see the difference. Actually. So now we are going to the front door. The front door we have about one to six kind of division to the front door 
right? We have our six kind of division to the point though. So uh, what we are going to do is to do the same as should, right? We use the, the same system that we did for uh, the back door. So yeah. I should dinner. We already have it, so I just have to apply so that it will be proportional to the other one. And then the control extrude E. But before then, remember the this portion, which we don't want. So uh, just select and delete, and then use the point view, uh, point mode, select it, and 105. I to do below, go back to my case selection, and then control, drag it in, yeah, control, drag it in, yeah, that much inside, now, we're deleting the down, yeah. All right, now we are going to create, um, how do you call it, what is the sharing? We are, uh, we are going to create, right, we are going to create the windows on the door. Okay, we are going to create the windows on the door. So to do that, we will definitely have to do some cuts. All right, we definitely got going to do some cuts. So calling in the knife to the K L for the loop, and we we'll divide the door into few exactly, and we we'll use the top. Okay, hold on. I think uh, yeah, we just go to the line. Line section and double click to have it proper. Uh, all of it was selected. Then push it a little, 25 centimeters. Sorry. Go back again to the face selection. Now, with the face selection, I'm going to put in the cut, which is the knife tube. Now, I am going to select restrict to selection, okay? Because if I don't do that, you see that when I'm about cutting, right? When I'm about cutting, you see, it is cutting the whole board, which I don't want. So the best thing is to use the restrict to select uh, selection. Then when I cut, you see, when I cut, it's only where I have selected that it cuts, right? Only where I have selected that it cuts. It does not cut above my selection point. I hope you've seen it. Uh huh. Uh, where is yeah, so right there, and then I'm going to issue another cut again on the horizontal side. Make sure it is in the middle, and then apply. So we have now, we, we now have our six windows, right? Now we have our six windows. So with, with, uh, with the windows, what I'm going to do is to do the extrude inner again. Right, first I will apply the, the former five centimeters that I did on the doors for it to give me um, the outline. But here we have a problem because I made it still preserve room. I was supposed not to make it preserve group, so uh, uncheck the preserve group and reapply it. Now we have our windows. Now, looks like the windows are kind of big. 
to uh, three centimeters. All right, so three centimeters is good. Now we have our windows, right? And uh, <clears throat> as we have our windows now, uh, what we're going to do is to, yep. Somebody will say you just have to cut it, but I don't need to cut it because I have something for it. So I'll do the control extrude, the manual extrusion, right? For it to be a little bit inside. The reason why I'm maintaining this kind of extrusion is because uh, that's what I call the camouflage. Well, I normally call it that way. It's just a camouflage, right? It looks like uh, an embedded window, right? An embedded window, but it is not a window actually. It's not a fully uh, constructed window. Yeah, that's the word. It's not a fully constructed window. So, for the sake of timing and, and stuff, that's why I'm doing it that way. So, now going back again to my cat. Uh, let me go to my, yeah, my right view. See what I'm going to do and yeah. Cut it right here. Okay. Um, sorry, I still have these restrictive selections we didn't cut. The selection is no more. Yeah, now I have my cuts properly done. Go back to my selection tree, and yeah, now we have our door. Um, I mean, the front door. Now, now that we are done with the front door, oh boy, looks like this dude over here has been hanging there. So now that we have our door cut, we are going to hide this for now so that we can have a perfect view of the window. Now we the window is four. Yeah, it is four, four glasses. Now, Apple software is, up, is updating itself. Okay. All right, so, oh boy. All right. Now, with the same face selection again, just the way we did this is the same that we'll be applying here. First, we have the extra thinner five centimeters, right? Uh, let's go to the front view. Uh, yeah, I think that one will maintain the down. We'll maintain the down because it's window. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just have to do our cuts, right? So uh, first, before doing the cut, the extrude manual extrusion pushing it in mm. yeah, this time around not too deep because it's a window right and then and like as it is so then we call in the knife tool again put it on restrict to selection and cut right in the center then Cuts horizontally right to the center. And then we call in again our extrude, uh, our extrude inner. Okay, the preserve 
group is already gone, we we'll just have to apply uh, three centimeters, just like the windows. And there we have it. And we do the manual extrusion again for the glass. The manual extrusion again for the glass. So now we have our window. Right? Now we have our window. So here we have it. Uh, all right. So now we have our window. Okay. So divine. So far so good. Do uh, you have any question? I think that's pretty much all. Is pretty much all. Now, left with the chandelier, which, well, yeah, it's left with the chandelier and then the door post, which that one is not that of a big, uh, a big deal. Yeah. And then, yeah, of course, the, the signing. Come again. Reflection. Uh, didn't get it. Reflection. Reflection. And that is for the materials. Yes. Yeah. How did they create it? How did they create? Oh, okay. Yes, okay. All right. Okay. So now we'll be moving to the material section. Well, um. Let's have something quick on the chandelier and then the door post. Okay. So well, we just let's let's do the material first. The materials, uh, putting in the materials and then it's like my Apple softwares are my Apple softwares are trying to update themselves with it. Okay. Checking okay. again. All right, so, um, all right, so right now, this, as we, we see here, yeah, all right, creating a new material, uh, all right. So 
Uh, now we are going to put the materials proportionally to each and everyone's uh, this thing. Right. Now on the building, we have it in two sections, right? It's the yeah. same colors that, uh, that uh, sorry, is the same building but have different colors. So, uh, what are we going to do? Uh, hold on. Solo, 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 art, solo. We've already done. Good. All right. So now I'm going to select my loop selection, holding down the shift. Select here. Okay. Uh, I've kind of selected whatever I want. Now I'm going to apply the material to do it. So now I have it over there. Uh, oh, sorry. Undo. Undo. And then the down there as well. Since I'm not going to delete that one for future use. Good. Now, UI. Invert my selection. As you can see, to give it the color for the material. Uh, all right so as you can see here we are having it for the door and then um, let's go for the windows okay first the door As a window, okay. So for the window, so as you can see, this is the window frame, okay. right? Yeah. So uh, okay, the window is complete set of black. All right, it's a complete set of black. So I'm going to invert my selection by. UI and then uh, I think this is the thing that is the chair. This is the color of okay. So now, uh, yeah. Now we have to create the reflective material that is a transparent one. I hope you are seeing. Yes, sir. All right. Good. Here you have it transparency. Once I click it, there you go. I hope you saw that. Yeah. Good. So that's how to create the reflections, like the transparent glasses and stuff. So refraction preset. We have glass, we have diamond, we have emerald. I mean, these are the okay. names over there, right? These are the names. So anyone that you choose, anyone that you choose, has a particular kind of uh, shape exactly. Oh, what? All right, so we are going back to the. Uh, I like the plexi, the uh, plexi glass. Okay, I like the plexi glass. That one looks like a, a rubber, like uh, that, those kind of plastic kind of glass. Right, I'm not going to tweak anything, just leaving it the way it is, and then uh, UI again for for me to have the window, and then boom, there I have it. Okay, there I have it. So, uh, oh, sorry. So 
here you have it right but you will not be able to see it properly unless you give it a proper um, how do you call it a proper illumination system all right now you should give it a proper illumination system so we'll work on that one once we are done giving the materials to all the objects.